guys and welcome back. If this is your first time, I hope you'll stay. Espero que te quedes. Um, so today I'm just going to be going over some questions that I've got from the writing and the speaking exam because I know you guys have your writing and your speaking, well your Spanish exams, just around the corner. So I thought this would be useful and even though I do have another video on this, I just think the more revision you get, the better. So, okay, first of all, I, I need to stress that you need to make sure that you have your list of verbs down. And the first thing I would do when I get stuck, so when I don't understand a question, I need to um, visualize the verbs in my head and see um, what, tense is the, what tense the question's in that they're asking me. So, um, as you can see, in red, I've underlined all the verbs, okay? And so this is the first thing you need to do. What's the verb in each question? So the first one, que hay en la foto? That's the first, that's one of the questions that's always on the, right, on, the, on the speaking. And so that's why I've chosen this. So the verb hay, which comes from the verb haber, so have, ah, haber will be, so that's the verb, hay. There is or there are? Que hay en la foto? So what's there in the photo? That's a question they always ask you. So you would then start, um, en la foto, en la foto, and then you put this, hay, whatever there is in the photo. So for example, hay mucha gente, or hay niños jugando. So you say what there is in the photo, and this is the order you would um, put it in. Obviously there are other ways of doing all of this, but I'm just showing you an easy formula that works, okay? So you get the verb and then make sure you incorporate it into your answer so you're not using other tenses and confusing yourselves, okay? Number two. Now, I, I have said this before actually, before I go on to number two. I have said actually that the three main verbs that you need to study is um, past, present and future. But, in all the papers, you will see the conditional, okay? And there's actually another video that explains what the conditional is, how you use it. So, um, me gustaría, te gustarías, te gustaría, gustaríamos, and all of that. So you look for the ending, and um, then we would use the subject to then answer the question. Te gustaría, so would you like, te gustaría viajar a un país extranjero? So, would you like to travel to a foreign country? Obviously, it's asking you if you would like. So, what your answer is going to do is put it in the first person. And how do you do that? You're not going to start off with, with, with te gustaría. You're going to start off with I would like, which would be me gustaría. Okay? Me gustaría viajar a un país extranjero. Porque nunca he salido de Inglaterra, okay? I'd like to visit a foreign country because I've never left England, okay? So, me gustaría viajar, so you'd start the sentence pretty much the same, viajar a un país extranjero, so we'd add all of this, and then put, ¿por qué me encanta la idea de conocer gente nueva? So, I love the idea of meeting new people, for instance, okay? So just make sure that you start off with or in the tense that the question um, has introduced. Te gustaría becomes in the reply, me gustaría. Or no me gustaría, I wouldn't like to. Okay? Muy bien. Also, um, in the speaking, you will see this in all the papers. Hablame. Okay? So speak to me. Hablar, what verb is that? To speak, hablar. I didn't put the, the gustar here. Gustar is one of the, your key verbs that you would need to know at GCSE. The same as hablar. Okay? Hablame. Speak to me a little bit about what you normally do um, during the holidays. Some people get really stuck on the tenses and they don't understand what tense it is. But what gives you the clue here? Okay, as I've said before, always look for things that are familiar to you. So, normalmente looks like normal, right? 
So normally, normalmente, if you do something normally, it's going to be the present tense, isn't it? Because it's a routine. Okay, that's something you usually do. And usually is an adverb of frequency which tells you that it's the present tense. Okay, so speak to me about what you normally do, haces, from the verb hacer, another one of your key verbs that you should know. And if we recognize that, we'll know that it is the present tense. Okay, so we've acknowledged that it is the present because it's got normally and it's got haces. So what do you normally do during the holidays? So talk to me about it. So obviously here, you're not going to say, háblame, because they're asking you to speak. So then you just go ahead and use a verb to express what you normally do during the holidays. So for instance, um, you would start with, normalmente, normalmente. So what do you do? Ah, for example, another verb, descanso. Descanso, um, descanso más. Okay? Um, descanso más. I rest more um, in the holidays. Y visito a mis parientes. This is an interesting word to know. Relatives, parientes. Okay? Instead of using family all the time, you can say parientes, family. Parientes, relatives. Y visito a mis parientes. Okay? So that's normally what you do. And then, because it's saying talk, you can say more things. You could explain, um, normalmente durante las vacaciones. So again, normalmente durante las vacaciones. Como más tarde. Okay? Ahí plaza. No, mm, no estudio mucho. I don't study a lot. So you should. Okay, so if you see again, we're taking the words from the question and using it to reply. So we're recycling, aren't we? And that is the key. If you're using the words and the tense that they've um, introduced in the question, you should have no problem and it just means that you're doing it the right way around. Okay, right. Next question. So, um, celebraste. Which comes from the verb, another one of your keywords, celebrar, to celebrate. If we see the aste, that tells us it's the past simple. Okay? Celebré, celebraste, cele, cel, cel, celebró, el celebró, celebramos. <laughs> can't talk. Um, celebramos. Okay? So, the past simple. So we know that it is the past and we're going to be using the past simple. So what do we do? We take this and we put it in the first, per the first person because the they're asking about you. Tú is you. So, ¿Cómo celebraste tu cumpleaños el año pasado? How did you celebrate your birthday last year? The last year also is a giveaway that's the, that you need to use the past tense. Now, you do not you need to use this verb, but you can, okay? You could, you could start with a celebre. Mi cumpleaños. Con mis amigos. I love this. We all say con mis amigos to for everything. It's fantastic. Con mis amigos. En el año pasado. Nos fuimos. We went, so again it needs to be in the past tense. Nos fuimos al cine. Okay? We went to the cinema. Y luego, y luego, ah, uh, I'm left handed, and if, y luego salimos a comer. And later we went out to eat. Okay? You could then add something else if you wish. Depends how you how much information you want to give here. Okay? But make sure you mention two things at least. Right. So this is actually from the writing paper. I got I got these um, points, these questions. ¿Qué hizo? What verb does um, hizo comes from? The verb, another key verb, hacer, to do. ¿Qué hizo 
Chronicles is the past. Again, we know it is the past. So, we're not asking about yourself. It's not saying Ephiste. So, you're not going to talk about your Ephi. It's Veronica. It's a person, third person, singular. So, what we're going to do is you can either use her name, Veronica. You don't have to use Ifo because if she did something, it could be many things. You don't need to use the verb Athel here. Maybe so if, um, if you have the text and you have to take the information out, it will tell you. So maybe uh, Veronica um, se fue a Italia. Okay? Y um, a un campo. A un campamento con su colegio. Con su colegio. Okay? O con su instituto. Okay? Y conoció, she met, conoció mucha gente. Okay? She met a lot of people. Right. So this, these three points, moving on, <clears throat> I actually got it from the section where you had to write a letter. I got all this from an AQA paper, by the way, which I, I like to use because um, obviously my old school, we use this a lot. Um, okay, we use AQA lab and maybe Excel as well. So, but anyways, moving on. So I got it from the section um, that you, you had to write a letter. So um, it was just three points that I took out. And you know, in this part, it has to be 90 words long. So you do have to try and put a little bit more information to make sure you do reach your 90 point, your, your 90 words. So you're not just going to put one small short sentence. Okay? Right. Don't get wasted. So, I think it was a, um, a letter um, talking about um, where, what she did last year. Okay? Don't get wasted. Okay? So again, wasted. Past tense of the verb ir, which is to go, another one of your key verbs. Don't get fuiste. Fui a Jamaica. Okay? I went to Jamaica. Con mi hermana mayor. With my older sister. Okay? Visitamos un sitio muy chulo en Ocho Ríos. Okay? I went to Jamaica with my sister, my older sister. We visited a really cool place in Ocho Ríos. Ocho Ríos es una ciudad en Jamaica. So it's a city in Jamaica. So we went to Jamaica with my, I went to Jamaica with my older sister. We visited a really cool place in Ocho Rios. Because it's 90 words, here you need to express opinions as well. So apart from this, I would add, um, me gustó mucho, me, me gustó mucho, me gustó mucho um, la gente que era muy amistosa y más que nada, o la comida, me gustó mucho la comida, porque es muy picante y la comida picante me encanta. Ok. Um, point. They all are, always ask you the plan, plans that you have, ok? ¿Qué planes tienes? In this case, you need to use the future, because it's, if it's talking about plans that you have, you're going to use plans. So, voy a, plus whatever you're going to use. So, voy a ver. Voy a ir, voy a comer. Always the future tense with plans for the future. Okay? Voy a plus verbos. Y, último punto, ¿por qué son importantes? Um, I've skipped that, the verb tener, to have, another key point. Okay, and it's regular, so we need to, you need to um, keep that in mind. For everyone, you could probably say something like, no tengo planes. No tengo planes para uh, el futuro. ¿Ok? Lo estoy pensando todavía. I'm still thinking about it. Lo estoy pensando todavía. ¿Ok? ¿Ok? No tengo planes 
for that photo though. Just throw your plants under the other So I still don't have any plants. Um, I'm still thinking about it. Okay? ¿Qué son importantes? ¿Por qué son importantes las vacaciones? Again, the verb is in the present tense. Comes from the verb ser, to be. So why are holidays important? We're going to start with the verb son importantes. Las vacaciones son importantes. We put las vacaciones here. Son importantes. Why are they important for you? Um, porque um, paso tiempo con mi familia. Con mi familia. Desconecto. Desconecto. So you get to relax and switch off. Desconecto de todo. De todo. Y recargo. Recargo las pilas. So you recharge your batteries. Okay, it's an expression. Recargo las pilas para el, el, el siguiente curso. And so guys, that is it. I hope that you find this useful. And until the next time. Adios.